Hello out there, February the 15th, 2014, quick update. Uh, I'll start with the NFT system. Got some lettuce growing in here. About time to harvest it. A few little seedlings. There's a little cilantro there. And some Swiss chard. Just taken off. A few radishes in there. Harvested a couple of uh, heads of lettuce out of here yesterday that we're going to have for dinner tonight. And a little aeroponic system. And of course the wooden pallet uh, aeroponics tables. A couple little strawberries there. Christine and I eat these just about as fast as they ripen up. And the other table I've got dedicated to just cilantro and they're just starting to take off. Got to get down here kind of low because I got the lights real close. And we'll swing back around this way. A few cherry tomatoes. Lots of cherry tomatoes. Nothing ripe yet, but boy, there's a ton of them. And back there, of course, in the rain gutter system, we've got strawberries. There's a big one I found today after I kind of thinned some of these plants out. It was just kind of hiding back there in the back. As it runs on down the length of the basement. Got a lot of runners being uh, rooted with these plastic bags and cotton balls. Get a new plant out of each one of those. I probably bagged up about 40 to 50 of those yesterday. Now look at all those blooms. A couple of green pepper plants. I didn't grow too many this year because they take up so much room when they start getting big. On down the line, this whole 10 foot section here is cherry tomatoes. Had to thin them out today, too. They just take over if you just let them go. You gotta prune them up every once in a while. The big long runner coming from the back somewhere over that direction from one of the strawberry plants. And another strawberry table here. This is a flood and drain. Fills about once an hour. Strawberry there, strawberry there. We get just a little handful every day, which is all you need. They don't grow like they normally would outside, but hey, you know, I got a foot, we got a foot of snow on the ground outside and we're picking strawberries in here. Not a bad deal. A couple little uh, cherry tomato clippings I'm starting to root. There's a huge radish growing here. Huge radish. I think I see you know, part of it down here. We've almost got these spider mites under control. When I ordered these strawberry plants, they gave me a case of spider mites well, and they will just take over and kill everything if you let them. But I've been using a product called Asmax, which has pretty much eradicated them. I've almost got them gone. And there's the nutrient reservoir. When these plants get this size, they really start sucking up the water. So I got to fill this about every three or four days. Another panoramic view of the whole basement. All in a 10 by 20 foot area. And I set up this system. It's the only system I didn't build. It's made by uh, Aquaponic Source called the Aquabundance System. It's expensive, but it's built like a tank. Got a few cherry tomatoes in cages over here. A couple of strawberry plants and that lettuce I harvested earlier, I just chopped it off, but I replanted the roots back and we'll see if it uh, if they take root and uh, start a whole nother plant. And that's it for today. Until next time.